Hello everyone. So our first research question that we will be doing is on the physical characteristics. And physical characteristics, that just means what the animal looks like. So you will be doing research about elephants and what elephants look like. And so this video is going to be just kind of building all of this knowledge also in English. So physical characteristics, like I said, it means what do they look like? Do they have feathers or scales? Some animals have claws. Their ears are all different and their eyes are also really important. So what does the animal look like? So when we're thinking about physical characteristics, we think of these specific questions. The first one says, what does the animal look like? You will also be researching how big is the animal? What color is the animal? What type of skin or fur does the animal have? And does the animal have special body parts? So the first question, how big is the animal? When we're thinking about this question, we want to know how tall the animal is, sometimes how long an animal is, is important as well. This picture shows you how tall a zebra is compared to a person. So this zebra is a little bit taller than a person. The next um, questions are thinking about the colors of an animal. So what color is the animal? That is very important because some animals have special colors because they use something called camouflage. Can you say camouflage? So camouflage is when an animal looks like where they live. So for example, if an animal is green and they live up in the trees, what would they look like? What's green in a tree? Yeah, the leaves. So they kind of like blend in with their background, with their surroundings. So that's called camouflage. There are also, there's also different types of camouflage. So some animals have patterns. So you wanna find out, does your animal have any patterns? Maybe it has stripes. Sometimes stripes are also a type of camouflage. This tiger is kind of hard to see because it's orange color and its stripes help it blend in with the grass. The stripes on these zebras don't help them blend into the grass around them, but it, when they're standing all together like this, it does make it hard to find which is a zebra, to find each one individually. You can see the big group of them, but it's hard to say, to tell where one zebra begins and where the other zebra ends. It confuses the, their predators, their, the things that want to eat them. Another type of pattern is spots. Cheetahs have spots. Giraffes have different kinds of spots. Uh, let's see, leopards. There's lots of animals that have spots. And again, a lot of this pattern also can be used for camouflage. This coloring um, helps the cheetahs blend right in with the grasses. And another example of a pattern is eyes. Some animals, like this butterfly, will have spots that look like eyes to scare away things that want to eat them. If you saw two big eyes looking at you, you wouldn't want to eat this butterfly. So this butterfly uses these spots that look like eyes to scare away other animals. The next question is, what type of skin or fur does the animal have? So lots of animals have fur, and I have some pictures here for you of different kinds of furs. Some animals also have hair. 
And one of the main differences between fur and hair is that the hair, like the hair on our head, just keeps growing and growing and growing. Um, and so, for example, for a dog, if you have a dog with hair, you have to take your dog to get their hair cut. Like people do, they get hair cuts. The fur usually stays one length and doesn't typically get longer. It will just fall off and then they'll get they'll grow new fur. And so that happens all the time. It's, they shed and then they get their while well, their new fur is growing in. But not all animals have fur or hair. Some animals have feathers. Here's some examples of different colors of feathers. There's also a lot of animals that have scales. Here's an example of scales. Lizards have scales. Crocodiles. Um, fish have scales. Snakes have scales. And there's all different kinds of scales. Some scales can be really smooth. Some are sharp and they have like pointy ends for protection. And some scales are just bumpy. The next question is, does the animal have special body parts? So by that we mean a few different things. So a snake has a one special body, uh, has lots of different body parts. But one that's really special is their fangs. Do you see their fangs here? Lots of snakes use their fangs to help them catch their food. But some snakes also have venom in their fangs. So that is special for snakes. Not all animals have those. Wings are a special body part. Birds have wings. Butterflies. Some other bugs and insects have wings. But most animals do not have wings. Some wings are used for flying. Some wings are used for swimming, like penguins. Some birds don't use their wings. A kiwi doesn't use their wings to fly. They run on the ground. Ostriches are another animal that does not use their wings to fly. They, are also, they also stay on the ground and they run really fast. An animal's eyes could be their special body part. The, this animal, which is called a loris, has really big eyes. Do you see how big their eyes are? Their eyes are so big because this animal comes out at nighttime when it's hard to see in the dark. So their eyes are special because their eyes help them see in the dark. A chameleon is also an animal with special eyes. Chameleons are able to move their eyes different ways. This eye is looking up to see if there's any predators. And this eye is looking to the front to find some food. So a chameleon is able to use their eyes and look in different spots at the same time. That is very special. We can only see things in front of us and maybe a little bit to our, the side. An elephant has a special body part. They have a trunk. They can use their trunk for lots of different things. They can use their trunk. It's part of their nose. Their nose is on the end here. Their trunk can also help them pick things up. It helps them grab their food or in their water and bring it to their mouth, which is way underneath. So that's special. There's also um, elephant seals, which also have a trunk, but it's not as long as an elephant's. An animal's legs could be their special body part, like a kangaroo. Kangaroos have very powerful legs. Their legs help them jump up really high and really far. They also use their legs for kicking if they need to get rid of predators or if they are 
fighting over food to protect their food. Um, another example of a special body part could be the animal's hands. Not all animals have hands. Gorillas and actually have the hands that are closest to humans because they have a thumb. And some other apes also have thumbs as well. But not all animals have thumbs. Some do like apes. Um, and that helps them. They can you pick up sticks and use it to like scrape out bugs or they can kind of use it as like a tool like that. And having those thumbs helps them to hold it and use sticks or rocks to help them find food. Here's some more examples of special body parts. Let's see. Here we have flippers. You can call them flippers. Um, some animals call them fins. Uh, like on a penguin, they would be called flippers. On a whale, they would typically be called fins. You can also call them flippers. Um, but they are used for swimming. Some animals have tusks. This walrus has very long tusks. Tusks, again, are used for protection, um, but it, a walrus can also use their tusks to help them hold on to the ice because they live where it's in the Arctic where there's ice, and it can help them climb up onto the ice as well. An animal's tongue could actually be their special body part. This ant heater here has a very long tongue, and they use their tongue to go, they stick their tongue in an anthill, which they kind of look like this with a little hole at the top, and so they'll stick their tongue in and they'll scoop up all the ants and that's how they eat their food. So their tongue is very important. This lizard has a crazy tongue. His tongue is blue. This is called a blue tongue skink. So they use their blue tongue to scare away other animals. They'll show off their blue tongue, and animals will go, oh, I don't want to eat that. That's too scary. Um, another example of a special body pot is their tail. There's lots of different kinds of tails. This monkey has a tail that can actually hold on to things. It's called a prehensile tail. It's almost like another hand. This is a shark's tail. Their tails are very powerful and they help them swim. And then this lizard is called a gyromastix. He has a very spiky tail. And this spiky tail helps the lizard defend itself and does so it doesn't get eaten. This lizard will hide in a little hole and just have its tail showing just a little bit and if it animal tries to bite down, all the spikes will poke the animal and no, they won't eat this. They'll say, ouch, that hurts, and they won't eat them. Claws or talons can also be a special body part. And they're also, again, used for many different things. Big cats, like lions and tigers and cheetahs and, uh, let's see, Jaguars and leopards, they all use their claws for hunting. But this sloth is not using his claws for hunting. It's helping him hang on to the trees. Um, this looks like uh, an otter. Their claws are help, to help them hold on to their food. And this is uh, looks like an aardvark's claw. They're good for digging. So claws can also be used for lots of different things as well. And one last example of a special body part is a shell. Turtles and tortoises have shells. And again, they're super important. It helps protect the turtle or tortoise and they can sort of pull their arms and legs in and hide. 
but this turtle also has a special pattern to help it hide in the grass. It kind of looks like the shadows in the grass. So there are lots of different examples of special body parts that animals have. All right, so I hoped you learned about the phys some physical characteristics of animals. Please make sure to read your books on elephants and don't forget to do your writing in Spanish. Great job, guys. Have a good day. Bye.